Hey, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. Recently, Con Skull Island, the second trailer has gone up and it looks amazing. Uh, one of the reasons I really, really like it is it is connected to the Garth Edwards um, Godzilla movie from a couple of years back and Monarch, the organisation that Ken Watanabe was head of in that movie, seems to be heavily involved in this movie. Now, um, I'm going to kind of give my ideas and kind of theories on what the plot is going to be like. So if, if you don't want any kind of spoilers or potential spoilers, I'd say skip this video. But um, here's my idea what the plot is. My, my idea is that Monarch funds this kind of research expedition with uh, a group of scientists who are trying to map Skull Island. And the, the expedition is escorted to the island by a unit of soldiers led by Samuel L. Jackson who have survived the tail end of uh, the Vietnam War. They, they seem to have uh, gotten through the war unscathed. And this movie set in the 70s. So yeah, it is the tail end of the Vietnam War. The team is made up of uh, John Goodman, who seems to be a representative of the Monarch uh, organization. Tom Hiddleston, he plays an SAS soldier and Brie Larson who's a photographer and peace activist. They, um, they're mapping the island and in an effort to map the island they drop these kind of seismic charge bombs and obviously it disrupts the flora and fauna and Khan, Khan attacks the helicopter convoy. Now one thing I'm fairly sure of is that Samuel Jackson is going to be the human antagonist of the movie. He's he's a dude who's like led his men in, 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 in combat in Vietnam and a lot of them seem to have survived and just to have have them killed doing this kind of uh, piss easy cakewalk mission obviously pisses him off and he he makes a deal with uh, the John Goodman character that the, he, they're going to try and get evidence about the creature so I reckon they're going to either try and capture or kill Khan. Um, other things I like, the creatures are fantastic. Um, I am a bit bummed out they don't seem to be doing dinosaurs but they have other things. Um, obviously there's Khan who's massive, they, they have his size kind of totally bulked over proportion and that's obviously because he's going to scrap with the uh, Garth Edwards Godzilla. Um, there is a, a, a giant kind of daddy long leg spider who attacks the soldiers in a, a bamboo forest. There's this giant water buffalo that emerges from a lake that uh, Tom Hiddleston and another man confront. Uh, there's some kind of stick insect creature which uh, emerges from the logs. And there is what John C. Riley calls skull crawlers. Now, these things are kind of crocodilian creatures who only have two legs. I reckon that design, the pick for that design is actually a throwback to the original King Kong because there's a scene where uh, Khan knocks all the lads off, off a log and um, uh, Jack Driscoll survives and he hides in a little kind of uh, little crevice or cave on the side of the cliff and this two-legged lizard tries to come up and get him and, and he cuts the vine and kills us. So I reckon the skull crawlers are kind of a throwback to that lizard creature from that movie. They, they, they look pretty cool. Um, they seem to be underdweller kind of creatures and they may have been released when the uh, monarch and the soldiers drop the seismic charges because there's holes all over the island and and that seems to have released them. There also seems to be one big one which emerges from the ocean and that's, that's probably going to be King Khan's main kind of uh, antagonist. But I do think Samuel Jackson himself is also going to be a kind of uh, an enemy of Khan. Uh, one last thing, John C. Riley, who seems to be the, the humor in this movie, looks fantastic. He's, he's this kind of Robinson Crusoe chap. And judging by his military uniform, I don't think he, he could be a World War II pilot because it's 1972. But going by his age, I'd say he's a pilot from the Korean War. And uh, he's just been trapped there for maybe 15, 20 years. Whereas if he was there, he'd been uh, he would have been there for thirty years. I think I think fifteen twenty is a lot more believable. But uh, yeah, he's he seems to have been left there so long, and he's gone a bit he's gone a bit soft in the head. But yeah, the trailer looks amazing. 
uh, things that have me disappointed is the lack of dinosaurs. But the way I rationalise it is on Skull Island everything is so big and savage that dinosaurs are like dinosaurs are probably mice to these creatures. So if you get a chance do check out the trailer. Um everything I've said here it's just speculation. But um if 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 any of the stuff pans out, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But they're just my ideas and theories and uh if you get a chance do check out the trailer and if you have your own theories or kind of thoughts on what Con Skull Island is going to be like, leave them in the comments below. My name's Martin, this has been the Trash Picture Show. Like, subscribe and uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.